Now, rich people don't give money. They'll take you out to dinner and pay for it. They'll get, they'll buy drinks for you. But if you're not getting anything from your friend, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Millie. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a return viewer. Thank you for stopping by again. I truly appreciate you all. Today's video, we're going to be talking about why it's important to only have rich friends. Now, if you're thinking, what the hell are you talking about? Not everybody is rich. So you're saying we should throw away our friends? That's not what I'm saying. I saw a video of a pastor talking about you need rich friends and you can't have broke people around you and all these things. And I kept seeing people reposting reposting and i got to thinking I'm like huh he's saying rich friends but i think what he's saying is money rich friends that's fine to have rich friends who are rich in money but what about the friends who are rich in other things so that's what we're going to be talking about today we're going to be talking about the ones with money and with other things first off why do you need rich friends i'm going to use myself as an example now I have a lot of friends. Not a lot, but I have really good, like good amount of friends. I have a friend who, I'm gonna list my friends. They will know themselves when I'm done. I have a friend who I know that if I pick up my phone and call, that person is gonna pick up and listen to anything I have to say. If it's nonsense, if it's, if it's um, smart, whatever I have to say, she's gonna be there for me. I have that friend. I also have a friend who I will call when I need business advice. Like something is stressing me with business or with work and I need to call them. I have that type of friend. I have a friend who will also, I can call for financial advice. I have a, like, I have friends who, I have, <laughs> okay. My friendships are so diverse that I even have a friend who's a therapist. I'm not saying go around looking for therapist friends or friends who are this, who are that. But you need to look within your friendship, all your friendships, and figure out what is this one for? What is that one for? This friend, what do, what do I get from this friend? Mind you, if you're in a friendship and you're not getting anything from those friends, those are not your friends. Those are vultures. They're, they're sucking out of you. You cannot have friends like that. Friendship is give and take. Now, you also need to look at yourself and say, okay, what am I giving with, to these friendships? What, what, what is my purpose? What is my main purpose in these friendships? What am I giving? After you figured out what you're giving to your friends, now you need to figure out what your friends are giving in return because you need that in return. Now, if you're in a friendship that you're taking, 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 that friendship is not gonna last. I've had a friendship that I was giving, 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 giving. That friendship did not last because that friend will only call you when they need help. They will only call you when they need their hair done. They will only call you when they need their, their makeup done. They will only call you when they're heartbroken and it's draining. I let that friend go. So you need to look and say, okay, my friends, what am I getting from these people? If you're not getting anything from your friend, you need to let them go. Now, let me talk about anything, okay? That anything that I'm talking about. I have a friend who is my party buddy. You need that too. Mental health is very important. You need a friend that will release some stress from you. I have a friend when I call and say, let's go out this weekend. It's always on. You need that type of friend, the fun friend. You need that. I, I think I'm the fun friend too. I don't know. Maybe I am. Anyways, so <laughs> maybe I'm the fun friend. Are you a fun friend? Maybe that's what you can offer. Your fun. Give your fun for free to your friends in return for whatever they're giving you. You can be the therapist friend. You don't need to be a therapist to be a therapist. I have a friend who's not a therapist, but she's been my therapist for years. Well, I have another friend, aside from my therapist friend, who's not a therapist, but I call her for relationship advice. I call her for anything. When anything is bothering me, I call her for that. You cannot say, I don't like people, and no man is an island. You need people around you. 
and as we all know mental health right now it's it's like crazy you will hear the news someone committed suicide you will hear the news someone tried to kill themselves like it's 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 a lot it's a lot going on so let's take people serious let's take let's take our friendships serious and maybe you might think well i'm depressed i have nothing to offer you have something to offer everyone has something to offer you need to be um thoughtful about what you have to or mindful about what you have to offer you need to know that this is what I'm offering to this person. You can just be a shoulder to cry on. When there's bad news, <laughs> you're the one the person calls. I mean, you can be the bad news um, person. That's, that's, that's a thing, okay? You can be the bad news person. When there's bad news, they call you and you cheer them up. You can be the bad news person. So everyone has a purpose in life. And these all these people, they're rich people because if riches is not just money I'm gaining fun riches I'm gaining intellectual riches I'm gaining like all these types of things that we have around us Th those are rich rich riches okay not just money yes you also need that one friend that you know if I call this person and say buddy I need a thousand dollars I need ten thousand dollars for something even if it's a loan you need that friend that can offer you that you need it I'm not saying you will use it but you need it in your life in case you have to use it now where people get that part wrong when people when you have the friend that has the money mm -hmm. yes people think oh rich people don't need anything no they do they do you can offer your services for free to rich friends and they can so okay one thing about rich people they don't like giving money out but you can actually pick rich people's minds you can talk to them and see and get ideas or run your ideas by them and see if they can help you and that's what you need people with money because if a rich person is giving you money it's probably going to be chicken change or they'll take you out to dinner rich people don't give money they'll take you out to dinner and pay for it they'll get they'll buy drinks for you but i mean that's something but that's not like making you rich as well you get it i mean if your friend is rich they don't want you to be richer than them so they're not gonna give you all their money no but they will buy you food they'll do these little little things for you like chicken change they'll give you but when you're in their presence, what are you getting from them? What are you also giving? Give your service. Be the person they can call and talk to. Maybe they need that. If you have, if you, let's say you're a hairdresser, maybe give your services at a discounted price to your rich friends. They will offer to pay. You can take the payment, but let them know they're always welcome to have your services. At a discounted rate or is or even free depending on what type of friendship you guys have so you need all of that and so I was thinking I'm, I, I, I as I was listening to the video and people were reposting but I think they are reposting it as in they're reposting it for like money riches and they're posting it as in if you don't have any money to offer me you cannot be my friend no it's not just about money. It's about every little thing that counts, that makes us human beings, that makes that builds uh, that build us as a society, as a as a as a people. You need people in your life that will give and you can also give. It doesn't matter what you're giving. As I said, you can be the bad bad news person that they can call and give you bad news and you will cheer them up. You can go, be the good news person and when you call them, they will be cheering you. Ah, me, I'm a good news person. You call me and give me good news. Hey, I will cheer you, eh? I will cheer you. You think that you won like a hundred million and probably you just made, made your first like picture you were able to take a picture and it came out nice like I will cheer you up I wanted to add one more thing because this video I put in rich maybe you came here for financial rich and so I'm gonna give you advice on those things too the way to attract a rich person in your life and when I say rich I mean money rich 
You need, first of all, you have to have good habits. Okay? You cannot be anyhow around rich people. They don't like that. So, in order to attract rich people, you have to have good habits. Number two, have a positive mental outlook. The next thing is, you need to have an encouraging attitude. You need to be loyal. Loyalty is very important to rich people. Now, I'm gonna go into this. You know how rich people or celebrities, they make people sign NDA, okay. Because they don't trust people. Rich people do not trust. They, they cannot trust you. So you need to show them that you're loyal. You have to show them you're loyal. Your mouth cannot be going yapa, 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 yapa. Always talking. Hey, you know this one. Hey, this one. No, they will cut you off. Because they will think, oh, so this one, if I'm not there, they'll be talking about me like that. So you have to be loyal. Loyal. Stop talking. Stop talking. Mm -hmm. You heard though. Okay. You need to be financially stable. I'm not saying go become rich overnight, but you need to be financially stable. You have to have something going for you. You have to have something going for you. Even if it's McDonald's you're working at, no, sh no shade to McDonald's. I worked there before. If it's McDonald's you're working at, have, have your stuff together. Don't be all like, can you lend me $20? Can you? you need to be financially stable. So when they're spending on you, they'll spend on you like, ah, this one is a big woman. Let me do more. They're not going to give you chicken change. Mm -hmm. Work hard. Hard work ethic. You need to have that too. Rich people don't like lazy people around them. They don't. You have to be hard working so that you can attract rich people and you can stay friends with them. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you have to show gratitude. You have to be grateful for the little things in life. Like if someone does something for you, you have to be grateful. Don't be all proud and, oh, because I'm with rich people, I'm proud. Is a rich person proud? You see how rich people, sometimes they are very, very uh, down to earth. And then you, Mr. Nobody, Mrs. Nobody, you go and become proud. Hey, me, me. No, rich people don't like that. Now, I'm going to leave the video here. But as I said, look within your friendships and know who's for you. And also, do not take, take, take. Also give. Give and take. That's friendship. So, take that with you. I'll leave the video here. And always know that if you're struggling with loneliness, mental health, or struggling with anything at all, I think at this point, every local or government have a crisis line that you can call and talk to someone. Message someone, call someone. Don't, yes, I know this is, if, if someone is struggling mentally, this is not something they wanna hear, call someone. Sometimes they don't even think about that, but I'm still gonna put it out there. So call someone and you never know. Maybe you, you can keep yourself for your family, your children, and not do something that will hurt you or them. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. And oh, happy holidays.